Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So a new report from a study out of the Washington University School of Medicine talks about the use of NMN in a human efficacy trial. Enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation, short presentation, and see what the results of the first human efficacy trial of NMN has got to offer. This is a review of a study I read in the Medical Express magazine. It talks about NMN and how it has previously shown to counteract aspects of aging and improve metabolic health in mice. And it's now shown clinically relevant effects in people too. This is according to new research out of the Washington University School of Medicine. And there are links in the description below to the articles that I read to put this presentation together. The small clinical trial of postmenopausal women with prediabetes was published on April the 22nd in the journal Science. It is the first randomized clinical trial to look at the metabolic effects of NMN in people. Women were enrolled in this trial because mouse studies showed NMN had the greatest effects in female mice. Among the women in the study, 13 received 250 milligrams of NMN orally every day for 10 weeks, and 12 were given an inactive placebo every day over the same period. The trial results showed that the compound NMN, or nicotinamide mononucleotide, improved the ability of insulin to increase glucose uptake in skeletal muscle, which often is abnormal in people with obesity, prediabetes, or type 2 diabetes. NMN also improved expression of genes that are involved in muscle structure and in muscle remodeling. However, unfortunately, the treatment did not lower blood glucose or blood pressure, improve the blood lipid profile, increase insulin sensitivity in the liver, it didn't reduce fat in the liver, or decrease circulated markers of inflammation, which were seen in mice. Senior investigator Samuel Klein, MD, and Professor of Medicine and Nutritional Science and director of the Center for Human Nutrition said, although our study shows a beneficial effect of NMN in skeletal muscle, it is premature to make any clinical recommendations based on the results from our study. Normally, when a treatment improves insulin sensitivity in skeletal muscle, as is observed with weight loss or some diabetes medications, there are also related improvements in other markers of metabolic health which we did not detect in our study participants. Co-investigator Shin Ichiro Imai, MD, PhD, and Professor of Developmental Biology and Medicine, who has been studying NMN for almost two decades and first reported on its benefits in mice, said, this is one step towards the development of an anti-aging intervention. The more research is needed to fully understand the cellular mechanisms responsible for the effects observed in skeletal muscle in people. So what of the future? Insulin enhances glucose uptake and storage in muscle. So people who are resistant to insulin are at an increased risk for developing type 2 diabetes. But the researchers caution that more studies are needed to determine whether NMN has beneficial effects in the prevention or management of prediabetes or diabetes in people. Klein and Imai are continuing to evaluate NMN in another trial involving this time both men and women. I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Um, not really the NMN efficacy trial results I'm waiting for. Um, I'm waiting for the anti-aging results, although interesting all the same, especially if you're a postmenopausal woman who is either pre-diabetic or suffering from type 2 diabetes. Now, I'm not sure, I'm at a bit of a loss as to why they conducted this trial. I read a few of the reports and I can't see the reason other than reducing blood sugar levels or controlling blood sugar levels. I think that's effectively done using metformin and berberine. So I can't see NMN being a cost-effective um, alternative for that treatment. 
Uh, on another note, I've been taking NMN now for over two years, two years and a couple of days. Uh, I'm up to 1.5 grams a day. These ladies were taking 250 milligrams a day, and I know I'm not a lady, um, but in all that two-year time, two-year period I've been taking it, my blood glucose levels have not improved at all. They've not got any worse, but they certainly haven't improved. Now, if the ladies are seeing some kind of improvement after 10 days on 250 milligrams, I thought I would have seen some kind of improvement after two years, and now I'm on 1.5 uh, grams a day. So, as I said, probably not the NMN efficacy trial results you were expecting uh, or you're waiting for, as I am, um, but quite interesting all the same. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this, uh, and also let me know if you think, as it says in the presentation, they are continuing to carry out these tests. Do you think there's any reason, or should they switch tack and start moving down the anti-aging um, track, which is what NMN is really well known for? Well, that's it for today. Uh, as always, please take care. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.